This week, episode 317 of Stogie Geeks, Drew and I discuss cigar gifts that we've kind of always wanted, but never really went out there and purchased for whatever reasons. You know I have stories to back that up for sure. Or what the title should be, what to gift someone who is really into premium cigars. Stogie Geeks, I want to hear from you. What did you get for Christmas in regards to... Uh, cigars, maybe hopefully there was some good gifts underneath the tree. Also, in our second segment, the Stogie of the Week is a Placencia Alma del Campo. We're going to have our thoughts and um, notes and taste testings and experiences on that. I'm enjoying one right now again. And towards the end, end of the show, we're going to discuss what we've been smoking over this break. Drew and I want to wish you a Happy New Year. It's Stogie Geeks, episode 317, starts right now. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Welcome everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe and I are already silly. Oh yeah. yeah. Joe Hosempa, aka Joe Hollywood, is here with me in studio. I'm fired up. And- Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. Happy New Year, Stogie Geeks. This is episode 317. I am your host, Joe Hosempa. I am joined by the little brown-haired kid from Texas, Mr. Drew, the band man. What's going on? Nothing much. Trying to survive out here. We got some tornado weather. We got uh, inclement weather. We got flood flash warnings. We got power lines coming down. So it's going to get rougher here in the next uh, six hours, he say. What so. the hell is going on over there? Is that normal this time of year? Yeah, it's Texas, you know. Wait 15 minutes and the weather will change. That's it'll just be like sunny. Us. Yeah, and then it'll get back to thunderstorm and showers and snow and whatever else it decides. Mm, mm. So, yep. Yeah, my jabroni friends are texting me saying, <laughs> hey, it's going to be 62 degrees. We should golf. And I'm like, it's soup out there, bro. It's like yeah. going to be still wet. It's 62 for, for one day. Like, you know what I mean? I'm good. Right. Golf clubs are still in my living room beside my Christmas tree. And uh, I'm taking that down uh, th- this weekend. I'm super excited. I did take down the, the decorations in front of the house, but now it's time to get my living room back in order so my kid can have more toy space to just toys for me to step on and put nice. together. You know? <laughs> How is we got the ins- What? You got I was going to say, we got, we got the inside undecorated. We haven't got the outside, which is my job. Which I haven't got to yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I, I haven't got the ultimatum yet, so I think I'm okay for another week. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I did. I, I don't know. Everything just it goes too by. It goes by too fast. We've had a couple weeks off with Christmas and New Year's break. Uh, yes. We did our predictions. Uh, we're gonna hopefully uh, see through technology towards the end of the year, maybe third quarter or something like that. The boys can splice some some video up and uh, see how close we came to our predictions. Um, right. Well, it was predictions on your part and more of a rant on my part um, <laughs> there. Uh, I, I I just got a text. I just got a text, and I I'm, I'm really just don't want to talk about this, but I just think it's, it's prov- provocatively fascinating is the word mm-hmm. I want to go with because uh, um, Paul Azadorian and myself have been saying this um, since 2017 uh, that I know of uh, there. Um, Altidus Davidoff, Drew Estate, and General have officially announced that they are not exhibiting at PCA. And I just, um, you know, it's all over FB. We know how a bunch of people share it and all of that stuff. And yep. um, I don't want to spend at all any time 
talking about it other than I'll give you a sentence because I have 20, but I'm not going to talk about it. I promise I'm going to leave the sentence up to you and we're going to get on with today's episode. Do you have a sentence? Do I have a set? I'm sorry. A sentence that? to say about that. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Only a <laughs> sentence. I'm, uh, that's it. I'm not talking about it. Uh, the sentence is, it's not surprising. I mean, especially at the end of last year and once they decided to announce that they were going to change it to whatever. Sure. So the, dis- the disorganization, I think, really showed and owned throughout the latter of last year. So mm. that's pretty much it. You know, Super cool. Moving on, mm-hmm. Drew. This week, we are going to talk about cigar gifts that we've always wanted. So, Drew, and, and you have to think about that as well. Uh, and, and, and I have a list and, and stories, of course. Uh, or we can say, uh, if you have someone who's into premium cigars, you know, you go Valentine's Day, Father's Day, uh, I Appreciate You Day. You know what I mean? Um, I love random gifts. doesn't have to be cigar-related. I love when it's like nobody's birthday, nobody's nothing, and then you just get like a random gift that gets super cool. Uh, sure. I, I got a couple of Christmas gifts underneath the tree that were cigar-related. I was, uh, I was, I was uh, pleased uh, with, with, with uh, uh, Caden's efforts to talk to Santa over his mom. So super cool about that. I guess nice. it worked when we went to Santa's village. So um, look what I got, Drew. I got to start with this thing. I, 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 this here, where am I? I can't see the camera. This isn't working. All right, yeah. So this is like a, a, a wedgie cup, I think. Yeah. And you put your cigar here, but it holds it, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then you can take a sip over here like that, like that. Nice. And, or... And I have watched Paul Security Weekly yesterday, and they were drinking gin and tonics. And I was like, damn, gin and tonic and cigar, that'd be so different. And that's what I'm doing right now, a, a gin and tonic. Nice. I'm not smoking anything. All I can do right now is drink because I'm inside the uh, the house. Yeah, you so, have a tight schedule. I get that. Yeah. So, yeah. but next but next week but next week I'll be at a cigar lounge mm-hmm. and I'll be able to, I'll be able to spark up again. So and next week nice. if the internet gods work and the prep call works and the agency works, we get to interview yep. Nesta Placencia on That's Story correct. Geeks. He's slated to interview, so, so Story Geeks so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Uh I I uh, we we've had the, I've had the opportunity to uh, interview him here on Story Geeks. He's coming back. I love yeah. it when guests come back because we dig a little deeper into uh, the super cool world of getting to uh, interview the people uh, in this crazy industry that we call the premium cigar industry. So yeah. Um, speaking of craziness, Christmas, New Year's. Did you get any super cool cigar gifts or anything like that? I did. I did indeed. So I got me one of these, uh, and I don't have it here. It's in the other room. It's a poker. So the poker you put on the side of the cigar, I guess, mm-hmm. so that you can smoke it down to truly past nub point. So you <coughs> burn your fingers. But uh, I, I caution that because you could still burn your lips, <laughs> which I've done a couple times with some of the cigars that I want to enjoy further and beyond the nub point. So, wait a second, wait was- a second. I, I, I apologize. I haven't done Story Geeks in like two weeks. I was way off. First of uh-huh. all, I was looking for the cough button, and I found it after I coughed. So that was like a wicked delay right there. Uh, right. What did you get? A poker that burns close to your lips? No, no, no. It's a it's a cigar uh, uh, stick. So yep. you put it at the end. So when you get down to the nub, and you know sometimes oh, you got to gotcha. get Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that you don't have to burn your, you know, try to pinch it and. Put your lips, you know, to mm. the uh, to to take a draw. You put this little poker there. So it's like and a cigar roach that. clip. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But oh, it's cool. a, yeah, looks like a toothpick uh, on on the end. But yeah, yeah. but uh, but yeah, if you don't be careful like me, I think I burn a couple of hairs off my my beard and mm-hmm. my my goatee because I I truly want to go all the way as far as I can and I end up burning something. So that well, first of all, first of all, my, here's my advice. I, I don't know so much about that and 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 like doing that right however mock down those cigars because the ones oh. that you're really doing that are really good cigar for your oh, yeah. palate and mock those down and, and when when you do your reviews you can uh pay, pay special close attention to those because they might oh, yeah. get a higher rating because you, you're oh. you're spending your time doing that so you got you got a cigar poker that so you can i got hold. that yeah 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 got that and then i got my new uh 
uh, J.C. Newman Humidor. Mm-hmm. Um, I posted that on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, put the pictures on there. I was so excited when it came in. I was like, what is this? And so, uh, yeah, that's a very high quality in piece of uh, furniture for sure. And and it was fun to get it all. I mean, they, they sent it to me already seasoned. No they already, Yep. They already they already did everything for me. And they just gave me some simple instructions. Cause they know how I'm busy. I am. No yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they did that. And then, uh, and then it comes with a nice little polished cloth and it has a key and all that stuff. Not that I need to lock it for any reason, but um, yeah, so that was very nice. And it holds about, uh, so I'm a 50 gig uh, gauge ring smoker. So I'm in that, in that category. So it holds about 80 comfortably. Uh, if I've got a mix in there, it'll hold about close to 95. I would say. Mm. I try to put a, I try to put a hundred of other ones, and it just, yeah, it was just way too crowded in there. So, mm-hmm. uh, eight, uh, eighty for me was the 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 wheelhouse for that box. But yeah, definitely a great piece of furniture. And then on top of that, I got some ashtrays from different people. So, uh, so I got like six different ashtrays now. <laughs> nice. So that was cool. Uh, ashtrays, I love. I love the artwork. I got one for. Uh, uh, the Puente family, uh, one from Dav, Dav Cigars. Uh, got another one from J.C. Newman, Brick House with the Brick House art on it. So, and then I uh, got one from uh, Placencia. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and I got a couple other ones, uh, Ashton and Ashton and uh, uh, what's the other brand? It's somewhere in the box somewhere. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's... I got two. No. Yeah. I'm plenty. I'm asked straight up. So if I have a big party here at the house. I got enough ash trays for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. And the humidor. Uh, have you had a bigger humidor like that before? Or no, uh, you just. Yeah, the one I had prior to that, my wife bought me yep. uh, a few years back uh, as an anniversary gift, and and she's seen how I've outgrown that, so she was like, "Oh, cool." But she goes, "We're gonna do with the old one." So I'm gonna fill it up. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll keep that one filled with, uh, you know, uh, some of the. Uh, private blends now so i've been you know a lot of places i go to they have private blends or their house blend and so i've been wanting to stock up on those because those are great for you know just getting one jamming the truck and you know if i finish it i finish it if i don't you know whatever yeah but but yeah it's just uh you know it's that type of deal for that one but uh other than that got some bottles of whiskey got some spirits for sure um just kind of the normal things i get Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) yeah Nah. But I passed out, but I gave out some great gifts as well. So I gave out like signs, you know, like some of the artwork signs, mm-hmm. some of the, t- the tin signs. Yep. So uh, I, I've been able to gather uh, a, a little back stock on those. So I, I get some of those uh, when I go to cigar events and or sometimes I win them in a, in a, in a, in a draw. Uh, what do you call that? Raffle? Raffle. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'll pass those along because I there's only so much my wife will let me put up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I got I got that stuff. Um I have a bin full of kind of older uh stuff. Some of it even dates back to the cigar shop where I, I used to own in Providence as well when when I had a business partner with, with, with that and you know, and, and uh in my other house I used to have a cigar room, but it really was it was like a kind of like a cigar guitar room, but I really never smoked cigars in it because yeah. I'm I'm a cigar shop guy anyway, you know what I mean? But yeah. uh, and we got, had, and- Go ahead, what? And you got what? No, and I'm sorry, just to top it all off. So my wife got me a gift mm-hmm. from for the garden. So I got a brand new 65 inch, uh, 4K whatever, so I can enjoy that instead of the 42 inch that we had out there. So, so watched, that was look at you, look at you. You watch news in the garden, or you yeah. can watch reruns of Story Geeks in the garden. Oh you go. man, I, <laughs> I, I've been on, I've been on an office kick for the last. I, I started back to season one when the office first came out here. <laughs> so, uh-huh. so I'm out there and I, I'll pick a cigar that's uh, you know an hour. You know some Churchills, some yeah, of the yeah. Churchills that I have, that I have. So yeah, so I've been spending some time out there in the cigar for sure. Mm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I got the this glass uh, here, right? And um, it's like a uh, what the heck are those things called? A flask that uh-huh. holds the cigars too, and nice. and in it. I mean, on it, they put uh, uh, Joe Hollywood, and I was like, "Joe," I was like, "Man, I haven't heard that in a long time." That's what Paul calls me, you know what I mean? Nice. So they, they, um, yeah, my, my my son and my girl got got me that, and uh, you know, super cool with with the glass and everything, and and you know, I 
I, I was like, wow, you know, and I got the socks with the cognac and, and stuff like that and, and some non-cigar stuff, Star Wars nice. socks and, and, and stuff yeah. like that. It's like a 12-pack of, like, all the different um, – the episodes and, and droid socks and all that stuff. So super cool stuff, um, which kind of got me thinking, like, wow, like, you know, I, I, I've gotten – I've received so many cigar gifts through, throughout, like, obviously just being in the industry, either, either from here on Story Geek. Some some sponsors or non-sponsors ha- have had sent some super cool stuff that kind of, sure. like, sticks out and stuff like that. Uh, and, and some of them I, I, I still use today. Uh you know, um, like for example, uh, I was the best man at my brother's wedding. Uh, I got a cutter that has the the date of the wedding. Um, nice. You know, uh, love Matt and Steph, blah blah blah. And it's it's a bullet, but it's a two pop bullet, big bullet for bigger ring gauge, little thinner bullet, and then it's a guillotine cutter. I actually put that nice. in my golf bag. You know what I mean? Because because stuff like that that's engraved, and this is where we get into like the tip segment for, for the Story Geeks listeners. Stuff like that that's engraved, if that becomes your primary uh, function, like if, if someone were to go to a store, like a Things Remembered and whatnot, as opposed to like a manufacturer's gift uh, there, sometimes they don't last uh, 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 as long. It, it depends on if you're an everyday smoker like myself or if, yep. you're, if, 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 if you're a weekend warrior. Uh, whichever. So I put that in my golf bag, and it's it's like kind of cool, you know what I mean? Like it just reminds me of that day and and stuff like that. Uh, common yeah. stuff I use. Uh, I I use this thing every day from uh, Churchill Smoke Shop and Lounge. It's got their in, in, in embroidery. It's a leather binder here. It's got most of my tools uh, here. You know, I got mm-hmm. my business cards. Uh, I put my lighter in here. It's on a desk now. I got my bullet. I got my guillotine. Uh, there. What I'm missing in this thing, as far as a wish list, is mm. I've always wanted a pair of those Zykar scissors, right? You know, the, uh, yes. the multi tool Zykar, because it's got a poker yes. and stuff like that. I love gadgets, right? But then again, like, what, you know, most probably cigar smoker guys, they, uh, you know, all gals, you know, they, they, they love gadgets, right? Because we're tinkering around, you know, uh, you know, as, as we're smoking on a cigar and whatnot. But I refuse to buy it. And the only reason why I refuse to buy it is because years ago I got the Zykar cutter. And this is the basic, you know, Zykar cutter, super cool. Uh, at the time, yeah. it retailed around $75. But here's the problem with this Zykar cutter, okay? I bought two of them in five days because I, huh. bought, I got one, okay, for a gift. And the very next day we hopped on a plane and I totally forgot like about the whole thing and it got taken away and oh. i was like ah man like totally like whatever and so when we flew to um what's the place cigars on uh not planet hollywood uh universal studios the boardwalk yeah i got another one <laughs> So this is my very expensive sidecar in one week because I spent double for it and actually spent a little bit more because it was in the middle of Disney and whatnot. So like I'm kind of like like practical. So uh, that's my story as far as a wish list. Um, you know, there I've received lighters. I mean, I, I have tons of lighters. Uh, a lot of them are Zippos. I have the one from my uh, father's uh, ship from when he retired uh, and stuff like that. I, I have that like on a desk of stuff for a uh, kind of memory box of, of, of my father and all that stuff. And, you know, it's super cool. You know, every once in a while, like if, if I know I'm going to a wedding and they're gonna, it's going to be outside and we're going to have a cigar, I'll, I'll use that lighter for that occasion and stuff like that. Or I'll just put it in the binder and use it for a week or so and, and do that. You know, even though it's a Zippo and there's, you know, you get a taste of flame. I, 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 that, that's a whole other argument there. It's right. preference like anything else. Uh, there. So yeah, I was starting to think like you know, wish list, Drew. Like you know, uh, like I said, me, those cigar scissors. I've been wanting those, and it's been, and and it's again, it's not like a cost thing, right? It's it's just a, right. yeah, you never get around to it, or you're like, ah, whatever, you know. I always like lighters. Like we go next door, and next door over at the Havana Cigar Shop, you know, they they get new batch of lighters, and I always like them, but like I'm always hesitant to to pull the trigger on like a, a super cool lighter because yeah. like. They they either work for three weeks or they work forever. In in my experience, you know what I mean. And you know, uh, I I can't hit water if I fell out of a boat. So uh, I, I just don't get that. But you know, but those those scissors uh, come to mind. Uh, I love uh, old 
old swag. Someone's actually got me a stock certificate. Uh, obviously, it has no value. It was it was bought in an antique shop, but they framed it of like you can purchase um, uh, common stock for a cigar company. It's since then oh. closed. Stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I, cool. I, I I I like super cool paraphernalia like that for sure. And I love when you walk into a retail space. In my travels, and some of the shops have some of the older stuff. Not so much now uh, here in the Northeast. They used to be like that. They used to be like little antique shops, in my opinion, uh, where they would have older stuff uh, there. Um, but, um, you know, now it's like more loungy and and, and, yeah. and and stuff like that. You know, they got the light that hangs down. And it's yeah. all pretty, you know. <laughs> but what's on your wish list? Uh, for me, it's more uh, probably just... Uh... You know, some of that nostalgia stuff, like some of the boxes, you know, like I've been looking at boxes lately just to kind of, you know, go with my artwork, uh, my band collection. So mm. that's, you know, that's, uh, you know, yeah, I get way extreme. So I, I go for the hard stuff, you know, something that's unattainable. But um, looking on all the websites, like, like uh, you know, let it go or whatever. I mean, you'll find some stuff on there. And and I've I've found some old humidor boxes that like from the uh, 40s. And they want like almost next to nothing for them, or I just bargain with them or trade. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking for cigar boxes right now. The lids, uh, mostly. Um, if I could find lids, um, I like to do some some art pieces with those. Mm -hmm. uh, do do some kind of art with them. And uh, there's so many vibrant colors. Even the older ones. I mean, they have more of the of the uh, braised kind of a braille kind of you know uh, bumpiness to them. So they have that texture. So looking at some of that, um, but yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And that's when, when people ask me, Hey, would you like, uh, what would you like? And I was like, yeah, if you can find me some boxes, you know, I'll, I'll definitely take them, you know, and, or I'll enjoy them, mm -hmm. make them nice, make the art, uh, art, art pieces out of them. Um, you know, do some shadow boxes with some of the boxes, uh, depending on the color, or the size, stuff like that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I know one Kinda. of the super cool things that, uh, Churchill's did with box tops is uh -huh. they took off the box tops and then the top of the humidor, you know how you have it's it's wood or cedar line, uh -huh. but it's really the top, right? Because it's along as long this line, and when they reconstructed the humidor, they put yeah. a layer of all the different cigar boxes, right, yeah. of different stuff, so that's a layer. And then yeah. before he put whatever he was putting to cover it to make it last for the humidor and not get there, if, sure. if, if somebody visited the shop or whatever for like a year, they would have him yeah. like shoppy it and whatnot, and then he put it over and whatnot. And now we built a retractable thing, so if someone comes, they can take it off and and, and do that. I think that's pretty cool. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it just adds to like a little touch. If I, you know, if I yeah. if if I had like a garage or something like that, a little a section there and 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 stuff like that. You know, I think when my yeah. son gets older, I'll get into that more more yeah. kind of like house kind of kind of uh uh you know hey son's gonna play in the backyard i'm gonna you know have a cigar and, and chill and yeah. decorate the place so i'll probably you know get yeah, more, more into that as opposed to 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 ju ju just go to a cigar shop no you hit it on the, the, the nail on the head because that's you know like some of the stuff like when my grandson comes over it's easy for me to you know work with him a little bit so i guess build skills you know wood shop skills yeah <laughs> He's only 18 months, but hey, you know, as long as you don't cut his fingers or gets returned to his parents with a foot missing, I, I guess I'm okay with that. Um, but uh, the other thing, I, you know, like some of the, you know, I, I, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they'll send me like a lighter or something like that. And you're right. Lighters are very personal. I, I have to really look at it myself. I'll invest in a, in a, a very decent lighter or cutter. I just gotta, I gotta play with it for a little bit. I gotta, you know, it's. You know, I, I'll, I hate to get them and then they break like within a couple of, you know, a few uses or the blades get they chop the cigar versus really giving a clean cut. So, um, yeah, I, like I have a my personal everyday cutter is a two. I call it a two way cutter. Uh, it's made by uh, Calibri and that one has the V, the deep V on the front and then the uh, the guillotine on the back. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's really heavy. I mean, it's it's, oh, it's, I was, it's this one. It's by Calibri. Let me see. Yeah, I yeah. got the same. Yeah, you got the that, and then it's got the deep V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I have exactly that one, that color. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'll, and it's weighty. Yeah, and yep. it's got. Yeah, and that one, uh, it doesn't slip my hands. I almost cut my finger one day. Uh, almost cut the tip of my finger off 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the third time I used it, I was careful after that. But other than that, I did have one of the other ones you just showed, the little V one that opens up on the sides. Yep. And and I and that's uh, I think I got that from Calibri as well. And I, after like fifty or sixty uses, it started to chop my cigars a little bit. So I was like, ah. Mm-hmm. I'll just I'll just leave that in the cigar and if I ever need emergency backup. <laughs> you know what I don't like about the uh, aspect of the the little gadgets, and I went through this when when Security Weekly we all went to Vegas uh, in August for a security conference, and uh-huh. like Paul and I were packing stuff, and and we, you know obviously we were packing cigar stuff, and it's like man, like you can't take this on your carry on, you know what I mean? So it's like stick it like. Our production crew, Mark and Johnny, have stuff. So, like, he's got, yeah. like, a little plastic humidor that is going to get shipped, yep. like, pre, yep. pre-flight. pre It's not even going to be shipped on a plane. It gets shipped to the conference, and we go there. And then it's like, you know, you're sticking stuff in there. Because you, if, if you travel a lot and someone gives you something, you don't want to end up in, in, in the predicament like I was, like, where, you know, you're in the line, and, yeah, they give you the option to step out of line and then do that and ship it to yourself. and But you're just like... It's just such an effort to get through the TSA process that you just, you know, some people are like, all right, I'm going to take it, you know, and I will ship it to myself. But, you know, what, what happens if it, if you bought something somewhere and you need to ship it? So just, you know, Story Geeks listeners, that if you're going through, just, just think about that. If you're doing some traveling, uh, you can put it in your checked luggage for sure. Mm-hmm. But if you can't put it on your carry-on, you know what I mean? And, and you know, it's crazy because, you know, I go to work with, uh, we have, a, like, a backpack. You know, it's good mm-hmm. stuff in there that we go through. And it's like, you know, before we travel, it's like I got to take everything out of the backpack because some of the stuff I just can't travel with. You know what I mean? Right. That, that's kind of disheartening because before you, 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 you used to be able to. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I love, yeah. like, uh, Cross Pens. I loved it when, when I was on radio. Cross Pen yeah. was, like, a sponsorship. So, like, I was writing on that. Like, I got this friggin', like, 100 right here in my Churchill's thing. This, like, $175 pen. And, yeah. like, you know, and, and, and I'm not, like, status on money. I'm just giving, like, a reference point. And, like, when you write about it, it like, glides and, you know, it's supposed to be yeah. from, from space. And they engraved it for me and stuff like that. But it's, like, you know, I, I don't know if if I would go off the deep end. I mean, I, I know a couple of writers obviously from being in the radio industry and television where they're like, oh, yeah, those pens are like, you know, you could feel the difference. I'm like, dude, it writes like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would never go out and spend that, but I I think it's a super cool gift. So, you know, if you've yeah. got gifts coming around and you really don't know what to give someone or whichever, you can flash Drew or myself an email for sure and, and we can point you in the right direction uh, there because some of the things, if even if you're not into premium cigars but you know your significant other or someone you have to give a gift to is, uh, at least you can kind of, you know um, – you know, get them something and see if it's thoughtful or not. But I've I've received like random stuff in the mail, like from people I know, uh, yeah. both pre and and post Doggy Geeks. We're like, hey man, you know, I was cleaning my father's house. I found this old cigar box. It's like a bookshelf. You know what I mean? It's like it yeah. looks like a book. And well, I figured you would like it. You know what I mean? Here you go. And I don't know. I yeah. just think like a handwritten note. Uh, doesn't yeah. have to be on a, a hundred and seventy five dollar pen, but like a like a handwritten note <laughs> with that, it really goes a long way. And I don't think pe- people really pause enough uh, in their lives to actually do that there. So yeah. so before we wrap this up and talk a little bit about Placencia and what we've been smoking, do you have any other uh, kind of wish list stuff? I'm I'm I, I, other than my scissors, I'm I'm kind of tapped out as far as wish list. But I love super cool stuff i don't really know what the industry could come up next you know i do look at the articles when they come out on on some of the major publications of the gifts of the year and stuff like that um yeah it just i don't know like maybe we can invent one or something like that yeah a stationary a stationary uh uh setup you know with the you know kind of a cigar uh, paper with uh some kind of uh watermark something like that i like that um i got some yeah, I, I got some ideas for that, and uh, I've seen some of those pins. I don't know if you've seen them on on Facebook or any of the other social medias. Like, like some of these Opus X, neat, you know, the the artwork. They kind of, I don't know, I don't know what those are, but I haven't really looked into those. But oh, those, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're like a tactical pen that has the artwork. Is it heavy or yeah, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's pretty heavy. 
Yeah, those are pretty cool. I like those too. So I actually, I, I, I need to get my hands on one of those. Um, so if anyone has to buy me a gift, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's it. So we're not, we're not really like we. I, I don't know. I expected you to come up with something, something a little more. Uh, you want a pen and I want scissors. So there you go. Yeah. Pen right. and scissors, yeah. I've been asking my wife for an Aston Martin, so I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, that's we'll not happening. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. There you go. Awesome. Well, when we come back, we are going to talk about the Placencia Emma Del Campo and what we've been smoking. Story Geeks, this is a small glass. We're gonna take a quick break, and when I return, and when we return, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> 